YouTube channel. Today I'm filming my first YouTube video ever and it's going to be about a what's new in my wardrobe for the summer. So instead of doing a get to know me video um, as my first video I thought I would do something that's a bit more fun and inshallah down the line I will be doing a get to know me video so if you have any questions for me or if um, you know if you want to get to know me better just leave then leave your questions in the comment section below and inshallah I will, be, will try to answer uh, your questions in that video so before I start the video I thought I would share what I'm wearing in case anyone is wondering and yeah so I have this totem blazer on with this uh, cos t-shirt skirt is from mango and I'm wearing it with my Chanel blouse. So that's my outfit of the, of the day and now let's start the video. And I want to say that most of these brands are Scandinavian brands and uh, that's just kind of my style. Uh, I like minimal outfits, very timeless pieces and uh, I also grew up in Sweden so um, I just you know I'm drawn to these brands so the brands that I have here today um, are Totem, House of Dagmar, I have a, um, a few pieces from Flipako or Flipake in English, um, what else? I think those are the only Scandinavian brands I have, I think they're all Swedish actually yeah all of these brands that I've just mentioned are, are Swedish brands um, but then I also have um, a piece from Vince, uh, which is not a Scandinavian brand at all. I think it's American, if I'm not mistaken. And what else do I have? I have, uh, yes, and I have a piece on glasses uh, by Prada and YSL. So I think that's everything actually. So let's just start with the first piece. I have uh, three, uh, three pieces from uh, Flipake. And the first piece is uh, these um, grey trousers. Um, these are my favourite um, pair of trousers like ever. Um, I have these uh, in black as well. I purchased the black pair of these style um, a few years ago. And I wear those trousers, the black pair, like to death. Like I think I wear them, I uh, wear them three, at least three times a week. And that's a lot for someone who works from home, 100%. Like I work from home full time, so I don't go out that often. But when I do, I am most likely in those um, pants. Like I'm wearing 99% of, of the time I'm wearing those uh, trousers. So that's how much I love this style of uh, trousers. So I decided to invest in another colour as well and this is uh, grey, nothing really fancy, I think it's perfect colour for um, the warmer months but also I think this can be worn um, during the winter as well. Yes, so that's that. Okay, so <clears throat> As I was saying, I wear the black pair to death, uh, literally. I decided to invest in another black pair of the same uh, trousers, just because I want to have them as a backup in case something were to happen to the other pair. And uh, yes, so two trousers. And then I purchased uh, from Vipake this um, shirt as well. It's nothing really fancy, it's uh, just a normal cotton um, white shirt and uh, yeah I think it's just one of those um, timeless pieces that everyone should have in their wardrobe. Um, this is also very versatile, you can wear obviously you can wear it in the warmer months but I also like to layer this uh, in the um, winter time as well. Yeah, so that was everything from Flipa K. Um, now I want to move to um, 
the sunglasses. So but I have three pair of sunglasses here, which is very, I have to say, very <laughs> unusual for me at least. Um, for the longest I have on, I had only one pair of Celine sunglasses. And the reason for that is that I'm very particular uh, when it comes to sunglasses. I can't wear like, you know, any sunglasses basically. I have a very small face and sm with small features. So I don't always find the right uh, sunglasses or sunglasses that actually suit my face. And also, you know, sunglasses that don't fall off my face basically. And um, so the first pair I have here is, um, let me just grab them. It's the YSL um, Mika, I believe that's what they call the Mika um, sunglasses. And um, yeah, I, I like the shape of these um, and they remind me of the Celine Edge sunglasses. I don't know if, if you're familiar with those, but um, yeah that's what they remind me of and I have had these on my wish list since last year yes uh, since last year and then recently or like before the summer I decided to um, invest in, in them I don't know if it's an investment but I decided to purchase them um, and I, while I was on the website uh, purchasing these I saw that they had a yeah, some type of deal basically um, you know where if you purchase one pair of sunglasses you would get another half price which led me to the other pair of sunglasses here and these are the Prada I really don't know the name sorry I, all I know is that they're Prada sunglasses I will um, put the name here on this on the screen somewhere um, but yeah, uh, they're Prada, and I think they're actually very trendy um, sunglasses. Um, yeah, these were like the only, <laughs> like when I looked through the, the website, I couldn't really find any other nice pair of sunglasses. So I decided to try these ones out since I wasn't going to get them full price. I just thought I might as well, you know, purchase them with the other pair and see how, the, how you know, they would suit me. And I'm so glad that I did because these are the most perfect sunglasses for my face. I'm not, I'm not talking about the style, I'm talking about the way they sit on my face. It's like they were made for my face and for that reason I'm very happy that I have them in my wardrobe and yeah. Okay. So like I said, I have three pairs of sunglasses. Uh, so the third part, or no, the third, the third pair of sunglasses are also um, by YSL, and they are the I think I really don't know the name. Sorry again, <laughs> but I will put it here on the screen somewhere. But these remind me of the nineties, um, basically, like nineties, early two thousands. That's the era these remind me of and that's my favorite era when it comes to fashion and like basically everything not only fashion like movies tv shows okay so that's sunglasses um now let's go into uh the um other brand here uh i have a, like i said i had purchased one item from bins and um it's these Trousers. Um, I'm not sure if they're 100% silk. I usually just go for like if it's a silky um, item that I'm looking for, I go for like the 100% silk because I just feel like it's better uh, that way. Uh, but I never really looked if these are 100% silk. But I can tell you the quality is like really good. Um, they're very good. I saw these on Instagram and to be honest with you, I didn't want to purchase them at first because I had a pair from Totem um, on my wish list that are very similar to these. 
but I like I think it was a month or two ago when I saw them on the sale and I was like you know what maybe this is a sign that I should get these instead and I did yes so that's that now let's move to um to them and I only have two pieces from to them and it's um another silk piece it's this um, silk crinkle dress this is also a um, it's another wishlist item basically I've had this on my wishlist for a very long time and yeah recently I decided to purchase it um, it's a very nice dress I don't know if it's something I would wear like you know casually or like day to day but i can see myself wearing this like to dinner or like yeah maybe like in the evenings but yeah i'm very happy that i have this in my wardrobe now Okay, so the other item that I purchased from Tatem is uh, these shoes. Yes, so the these shoes are also by Tatem, and I have had these on my wish list pretty much since they came out with them. And I remember when they first came out with them, they were around 200, 260 euros. I think they were around that price point. And now they're 360, so they have gone up in price. They've had an increase in price, which is very normal. You know, when the items are popular, they tend to go up in price. And now. Um, last but not least is this blazer by House of Dagmar and it's another wish list item. I've had this on my wish list for a while now and I have recently decided to purchase it. Very happy, very happy that I have this in my wardrobe. And yeah, inshallah I can't wait to style it. Now we have reached the end of this video. Uh, if you watched the whole video, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, if you want to follow my journey here on YouTube, then subscribe. And inshallah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.